as you can see the body is in some primer and at this point everything is looking pretty good the body's looking all right it's getting close to ready for being ready for paint I don't see a whole lot of things that need addressing before I can move forward uh, there is one little area here on the side of the trunk the deck lid that I could probably address if I really wanted to uh, other than that it looks okay um, the deck lid which was pretty bad had that really bad mold line looks pretty good again really everything is look good ready for paint I didn't do a really good job of scoring the panel lines deeper it is what it is so that is the body primer ready for paint almost we got one more step to take and that is although I'm sure I could get away with um, with leave them like they are because they're already kind of dark now I still want to um, darken them a little bit just to say so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this goddamn gun damn marker here this is the fine tip and I'm just gonna I do this without making a mess here actually it really doesn't matter if I make a mess over here okay, so the deck lid lines have been darkened so let's do the let's do the door here it's okay I'm not worried about that And I'm making a mess, aren't I? I'm writing all over it. That's okay. I'm not concerned. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second. All right. Just get a little bit of. Okay. All right. Now I've made a huge mess. Now I got to get that cleaned up before paint. I'll show you a trick here give me a moment so I take a little bit of a piece of cloth and some rubbing alcohol Oops, a little too much out I'm gonna do this Let that try for a second like a magic eraser for this stuff and then I'll attack the other side here get that bottom piece that's why I love these markers all right, so that is all clean. Let's do the trunk lid too. See, I don't think I scored the deck lid area, the deck lid lines deep enough. All right, so panel lines are done. I'm probably gonna give it a little bit of a light sanding, maybe some areas, but then I'm gonna do one more coat of primer, I think, and then it'll be ready for paint. Now it's time to get the body painted. I believe it is ready for paint now. So I'm going to be using my clips with the 0.5 needle and tip set. PSI should be around, probably going to shoot at about 20 or so PSI, give or take. So that, let's get started.
So we're gonna let the body sit now for a little bit, and then I will do an inspection on it and see how it looks. See if there's anything that needs to be corrected or fixed or what have you. Uh, there is a little bit of there's some a couple of debris spots that I need to get out, but that's real easy. I can just rub, get those off with my finger, just rub it out, literally with my thumb and my finger, come right out. Uh, so I'll go over and see how it looks and see if it will need another coat of paint, but I don't think so at this moment. I think it's good. So if everything is good, the next step will be to get the clear coat on.